Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the trend that has been circulating the internet and that is the coastal cowgirl. If you're new here, hello, my name's Taylor. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week talking about lifestyle, fitness, fashion, beauty. I'm going to give you guys some inspo around this trend and where to shop and buy things. So let's just get started. The coastal cowgirl aesthetic, I'd say is a healthy mix between beachy, coastal and western flair. Pretty much you're not going a full rodeo on them, but you're also not going like full, okay, she's a beach girly. I want to start off this video by talking about just denim because with the western vibe, I feel like I initially think of denim and there's so many cute denim pieces out right now that I am obsessed with. First, of course, is the denim skirt trend. I don't know if I could rock this. I want to purchase one just to try it out, but Mango has really nice options in lighter and darker washes along with your traditional traditional jean shorts. I feel like with this trend, there's not really a specific style of jean shorts that you should be more geared toward. I think it's whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you feel good in. It could be more of a dad short, a shorter short. Just as long as they're denim, you're gonna definitely hit this trend. And another thing that I've been seeing kind of circulate in the denim world is denim vests. This first one right here is from Mango, and then this second one here is from PacSun. When I think Western, I think a vest like this, but if you're not comfortable going towards a denim kind of more structured fit vest. There is shirts out there and blouses that look like this. This one here from Free People has that like linen feel and I feel like it goes perfectly with this trend. Now let's talk blouses and shirts. So I feel like with this aesthetic, it's definitely more of like a flowy vibe on top because obviously with that coastal heat, you're looking for more of those flowy airy pieces, the things you can breathe in, the things that move with the air, and then you just pair it with some cute cowgirl boots. Before I dive into some blouse options, I think we're definitely going to see a lot of people still purchasing graphic tees and graphic tank tops. You can add so many to your collection and know that kind of these style graphic tees, more vintage feel, are really never going out of style. I feel like they've been around for years. Even if you just end up wearing it to bed or end up wearing it as like a cover up to the beach, there are three fabrics that I feel like we're going to see a lot of and three fabrics that I absolutely love wearing and that is first being lace, second being those crochet pieces. I know some people really hate them or really love them. I really love them. And third, of course, your linen pieces. Starting with crochet. So I saw this shrug right here from Cotton On and I immediately purchased it. I'm like, yep, add to cart, it is mine. I can see this being paired with even just a simple tube top underneath, whether it's white or brown, cute denim shorts and some cowgirl boots. So giving that coastal flair with the crochet and then of course having your Western style vibe with those shorts and boots. Another top that I thought was really cute is this one right here. It's from Free People. It kind of has a mix of different fabrics, flowy, skinny strap, very cute. And then going into a couple linen style pieces that have a little bit of lace intertwined. So this one right here is from Reformation. I've actually never purchased anything from Reformation, but I really want to try them out. This to me is perfect. I feel like it hits the aesthetic right on the nose because it kind of has that Western feel, but also has that lace and like that baby doll feel, that flowy openness that you would wear to like a beach town. And we have something like this. It still has that opening in the front that's flowy, but also like that linen lace crochet vibe. I think we're going to see a lot of people layering but layering with like obviously light pieces because coastal and western you're gonna think hot weather but layering is still gonna be possible with things like this so maybe something that's see-through that you can see whatever shirt you have underneath it or your bikini and then of course something like this that is just linen oversized you could wear shorts underneath it it's supposed to be a dress but it's just giving that oversized flowy feel speaking of dresses I feel like when you look up this trend or aesthetic on like Pinterest or TikTok, so many people are sharing so many different dress options because dresses are so easy. You just throw on a dress, throw on a romper, and put some cowgirl boots on, and boom, you're golden. I came across a couple different options. First being this linen style oversized romper. It's white, it's airy, definitely coastal. The girl in the picture even has a hat on, so you could even pair it with like a nice wickered cowgirl hat. Then I came across this dress right here. It has pockets, and the back of the dress it has such a 
adorable detailing with some buttons and a crisscross linen strap. This to me is so cute. And then I also came across this one right here. Again, a mix of different materials. You have like some twill and some lace in there. Lots of baby doll dresses, lots of mini dresses like this one here from Abercrombie. I feel like everyone has been purchasing dresses like this. This one is also from Abercrombie, a longer version. I just like can see someone wearing this with some cowgirl boots, literally like riding a horse. <laughs> If you're not a dress wearer, some people just aren't, you can definitely look for a couple different romper options. Going back to the denim, this is a full denim romper. I also came across this one right here, which is so cute. I think it's from Gap or Old Navy, and it's just a linen romper with a halter top. Now let's talk about boots and shoes. If you're not into cowgirl boots, definitely keep on watching because I have a recommendation for you. All of the cowgirl boots that I own are from Dolce Vita. I actually won a giveaway from them last year and won like three pairs of cowgirl boots. So I am stocked and ready. They are really nice material, really great quality, and come in a lot of cute different colors. Sam Edelman also has a bunch of options. Free People, Boot Barn, whatever style and quality that you're looking for. I would say to definitely invest a little bit of money if you plan on wearing these for long periods of time because if you have an uncomfortable boot on, let me tell you, your feet will be torn up. I came across these from DSW and I really Really like them because they have like a dirty vibe look they don't look pristine they don't look too clean and they're like and they're like halfway up your calf so they're not extremely up your knee or a short boot and then if you're not comfortable wearing cowgirl boots but you want to somehow achieve that Western style flair I highly suggest purchasing a mule clog like this so this is from Dolce Vita it has that pointy toe it has that wooden base and they honestly make versions that look like a cowgirl girl boot but it's not an actual view it's Butte, but it's not an actual view. It's what? a mule and they have so many different options on the internet now They're comfortable. You can slip them off You really have so many different options there if you're not ready to like fully dive in and purchase a cowgirl boot And of course if you want that coastal western style vibe You have to get a cowgirl hat me personally I don't own one yet because I feel like I would have to go into store to physically like try it on and see if it works on my head But there is so many different options on the internet one one that I actually came across that has amazing reviews is from Free People. It's not full on cowgirl vibes, but it's more of that beachy Western style. So I feel like it's perfect for this trend. And then if you're not feeling a cowgirl hat, if you're like, no cowgirl hat, no cowgirl boots, how can I like do this cowgirl aesthetic? I feel like getting a trucker hat is definitely a Western style vibe. Even just wearing your hair down at the beach with that, with some cute, I mean, come on, you gotta wear the cowgirl boots with this to make it a little bit more more Western. It gives off that coastal vibe, airy, carefree. Trucker hats are just totally my thing. I love them. And lastly, if you want to dress up your outfit a little bit more, I highly suggest getting a Western style belt. I actually have one of these. I purchased mine from ASOS and every time I wear it, people are like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. It gives your outfit a nice little flair. They have a bunch of different options. If you literally just Google Western style belts, Free People has a lot of cute options. And yeah, it really just ties the whole outfit together. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of a styling video of me actually trying on these outfits, let me know in the comments down below because I have been doing some damage. I have been shopping way too much. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I also post on there frequently and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!